A six-year-old boy wearing glasses sits on a couch, playing with a toy molecule. His name's Kai. If, like, something could be able to shrink in a black hole, like, it, like a particle, it could actually escape from it. In the beginning, the emotion just took over. Kai's mother, Mina, sits on a couch in the family's living room. I couldn't really finish listening to what she has to say. I was like crying. I was like, that's not possible, not to my son. It takes away energy from some sort of object, and it can, you know, travel faster than light for only like maybe a few seconds, something. She started to tell me, your son has a mutation in his retina and this condition's degenerative, so meaning he's going to lose his vision at some point. In his room, Kai holds a toy space shuttle up to the right corner of his eye. This is where he sees the best. When you find out that your son's gonna lose his sight, you obviously just want him to be able to see everything and anything that he could. 14-year-old Jack sits at the kitchen table with his mother, Jeanette. My thought was we have to go to Disneyland, we have to go see trees, we have to go to parks, we have to watch every movie that I ever want him to see, because in my eyes that he was going to go blind and he wasn't going to be able to see. Jack rides his bicycle down the street in front of his parents' house, something he couldn't do well before. Knowing that there was no cure, I felt there had to be something. So that's when we found the Foundation Finding Blindness. I was really surprised to learn that the retina degeneration and other vision-related disease um, are funded through um, private donations, organizations like FFB. A drone flies up through the clouds, revealing the skyline of San Francisco. I currently serve as the chair of the Scientific Advisory Board for the Foundation Fighting Blindness, really the premier scientists that are doing research in the field of inherited retinal degenerations. Dr. Jackie Duncan sits at her laboratory imaging room at UCSF. Every year, really, I think we learn a little more about ways that vision might be potentially restored to patients or that there, we might be able to intervene in a disease course such that we keep vision alive longer. My eyes didn't like just get better in one night. It was over time. It gradually got better. I wouldn't have met Dr. Pierce had it not been for the foundation. We had told him that as soon as it was FDA approved, we would be your first patient. And Jack was our, his first patient. Various news articles tell the story of Jack receiving Luxturna and gaining eyesight. I don't have to hold on to my friend's shoulders anymore. Why not? when I go to a movie theater or go outside at night. Jack shows us how he can play basketball in his backyard now. He makes a basket. It is a really e rapidly evolving field. The success of recent treatments leading to the first FDA-approved gene therapy, and certainly in all of ophthalmology, has led to a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and excitement and interest in the field. Kai has a smile on his face with headphones on while he listens to science books on tape. He's taking like karate lessons, basketball, baseball. Yes, he cannot perform the same way as sighted people, but that's okay. Kai walks through the park on a path by himself using his cane. I think as parents, I learned not to make that judgment for him, but follow his lead and let him discover what he wanted to do, what is interesting to him and not letting the visual impairment hat wear him down and defy him. In a field, Kai throws a toy rocket up in the air and chases after it. The research, it's very promising, but on the other hand, there's still a lot more work need to be done. Kai rides his toy scooter on a path in the park, chasing after the camera. Visit fightingblindness.org to learn how you can help us shed a light on treatments for blindness. I want to put this away. It's making my hands sweat. Here, you can hand it to me. You want me to take it apart?